everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. Cobra. Real name, Anna Harp. Length, 14 feet 6 inches. Weight, 3.5 tons. Status, villain, and queen of serpents. Base, Egypt, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior. Sinister, horrific, and relentless. She's always willing to destroy those that wish to turn against her. Lethality. As above, she's highly unpredictable. Weaknesses. She has no eyelids, so she's easily blinded by lights. Powers. She has a long serpent tail used for entangling victims. She has a head structure that forms a hood when angered. She has a series of venomous snakes for fingers and thumbs. She also has a set of poisonous fangs and is mostly covered with tough scales. Eyes goldish orange with vertical pupils. Hair none, formerly black. Origin Anna Harp was a reptile specialist who got bitten by a cobra during her travels to Egypt. After dying from the bite, Satana gave her a second chance by resurrecting Anna into a snake woman. After her resurrection, she lost her sense of hope and became evil in the process. Eventually, Cobra was defeated by the combined teamwork of Madame Shear, Dagger, Fear, and Q-Girl, and afterwards Cobra became allies with Raprugan, Consuela, Lady Stinger, and Queen Pinchers. Since then, she'll do anything to kill those who see, their, see her as a social disgrace. Costume. She's mostly covered in greenish-black scales. Team, solitary, or with other villains or inspiration, Cobras. Here's the next character, just so you know. Just bear with me, please. Trio. Real name, Teresa Donalds. Height, 5 feet 7.5 inches to 10 feet for each. Weight, 138 pounds to 463 pounds for each. Status hero and Universal Misfits and LOL member. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, three brains to five brains. Behavior, depends on the variations. Lethality, while in her variations, she's quite deadly. Weaknesses, her variations can't go more than 50 feet from each other. Powers, she could split herself into three towering versions of her personality. Intellectual has a high IQ. Flirtatious can emit strong pheromones, and Warlike has the talent for starting fights and recently gained a bionic right arm that shoots a variety of energy beams. Regardless, they all possess immense strength and durability. Eyes greenish-blue, hair strawberry-blonde, and chin length. Origin Teresa Donalds was a young woman who wished to be cured from her ADD. One day, Teresa was experimented on by Gigantica into being cured from her disorder along with gaining the power to split into tall and powerful variations of her personality. Afterwards, she named herself Trio and eventually saved New York from an attack by the Killers Three. And after the fight, her intellectual self recovered her warlike self by replacing her amputated arm with a bionic arm. Since then, Trio was marked as a hero and is recently marked as a new member of both the Universal Mesfits and the Ladies of Love. Costume. In her hero form, her variations wear blue latex suits. Other than that, she simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary, or with other heroes, holds inspiration, DC's Triad. Here's the last character, just so you know. Here's the last one. Monstar. Real name, Connie Hermans. Height and weight varied, status anti-hero, and master of monsters, base mobile, intelligence have a brain to five brains, behavior, depends on her form, lethality, if you fight her, you have to know her flaws, weaknesses, depends on the form, powers, she has the ability to shapeshift into any monster that she can think of, along with their powers and weaknesses, she can also change into a new monster that few people would identify, eyes and hair, varied. <laughs> Origin. Connie Hermans was a young woman who once got captured by Voodoo. In the process, Connie got infused with the power to transfigurate into any hum inhuman creature that she could think of. Eventually, Monstar was brainwashed and commanded by Voodoo to destroy the United States. However, 
She was soon confronted by Dragonoid and afterwards got her brainwashing disabled when she was knocked out. Rela realizing what she had done, Monstar started pleading for liberation. Since then, she'll do all that's needed to be forgiven by society. Costume. Depends on her current form. Team Solitary or with others or its inspiration? Monsters. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce, and I really hope this angling and such isn't a problem for you guys. I'm just trying something different, you know? And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys had a decent Valentine's Day and such, and until next time, and transmission.